This video deals with causal LTI systems described by linear constant coefficient difference equations. So presently we are interested in causal linear time invariant systems described by linear constant coefficient difference equations. So previously we had a differential equation, linear constant coefficient differential equation that was in terms of a sum of constant coefficients in d by dt of nth order or n equal to zero to n of the output. This was related with the input by coefficient bm, where m is from zero to capital M and differential of the input differential of the nth order input x so this was for continuous time but if we move to discrete time so again we would have a summation that is starting from 0 and going to n and we have the linear constant coefficient a k translated uh, in the difference as well the differential would change to difference so this is the major part uh, that is basically a contrasting from our previous uh, previous discussion this would be y of present time instant n minus a we have changed this n to k because we're using n as a discrete time um, variable time variable right and this k is giving a delay n minus k so if k is one one unit delay and onwards this is equivalent to again a summation from k zero to capital m constant coefficients bk and the difference uh, differential would change to difference equation that is that is x of n minus k so this is our linear constant coefficient difference equation of nth or mth order depending on the value whether n is greater than m or m is greater than n again the solution of this can be in terms of y h of n that is the homogeneous solution plus y particular solution so for this we set the input equal to zero and for the particular solution this also satisfies the given uh, difference, uh, difference equation let us take one example of first order system to understand uh, the linear constant coefficient difference equation and we say that x of n is related with the output y of n by means of a delay that in a discrete time we can simply say z inverse or d right so over here this is simply y of n minus one a delay of this output y so this is n minus one we could have a multiplier and this say is multiplying by a factor of one by two and then we have a summation block over here and this leads to the output in this system uh, block diagram we have an input and output a delay unit multiplication or amplification and a summation junction so output y of n can be expressed in terms of the input that is x of n plus 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 right the output in terms of the first value of the output plus the input so for this particular case the value of n is equal to 1 so we have y of n minus 1 
this is a first order uh, difference equation we say that this system is at initial rest so this means that the value of input x of n this is equal to 0 for n this value less than some specific value and not so if this is true this would mean that y of n is also 0 for that value of input n less than n naught in short if at time student 0 and prior to that that the input is 0 so the output would also be 0 let us proceed to finding the impulse response of this particular system so from initial rest we're saying that when our x of minus 1 is equal to 0 so this would lead to y of minus 1 equal to 0 and if we say our x of n is unit impulse that is delta of n this would mean that our y of n would change to the impulse response x of n when the input is delta of n the output is the impulse response so from here again let us write this expression 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 plus x of n so at time stand 0 this would be 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 plus delta of n but from initial rest condition we are saying that this is equivalent to 0 and delta of n is only existing at time 0 and it has a value of 1 so this would simply be 1 so next when our y of 1 is evaluated so you would have 1 by 2 y of 0 plus delta of 1 but y of 0 is equal to 1 and delta of 1 is equal to 0 because at time instant 1 you know the value of delta of n is 0 so you would have 1 by 2 so if we move on y of n would be equal to 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 plus delta of n this would be equivalent to 1 by 2 nth value over here we had 1 so the power was 1 this would be nth value so from here we can say that the impulse response h of n is equivalent to 1 by 2 n for n greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 so we can have u of n written over here so this is the impulse response of our of our system mentioned over here that is the first order difference equation if we have higher order uh, difference equation so if you pull this out you can have another z inverse so this would be simply y of n minus 2 and then we can have a summation block over here and then that that could uh, feed to the summation junction over here and then that would be related to the output y of n so that would become the second order difference equation and so on and in the same way you can find the impulse response h of n so the condition of initial rest and a feedback that is when that is when n is greater than or equal to 1 and initial rest so we would always have a feedback path and this feedback path would give us an impulse response that is of infinite duration hence we can call it as infinite impulse response or simply IIR let us look into one more example and say we have mobile station A 
and this is communicating with mobile station B. We would have one line of sight that is a direct link. We could have also a deflection from a surface, right? Or some reflection from a tree. Right, so we have three different paths. We can say that we have an input X of N. And this X of N is multiplied with a B0. And at the same time, we have this path, which is being delayed because it's an indirect path and it will take long time to reach the destination. So this is simply x of n minus one. And in this path, there are certain losses as we would, as the neural surface would absorb some of the energy. So you can have another coefficient that is v1 over here. And we would have a summation junction Similarly, for the tree, it is at a certain height h, and assuming that the travel path from A to B is actually longer when it is reflected from the tree, so we can have another unit delay, z inverse, we would have x of n minus 2, and this is multiplied by some attenuation factor, a b, this one b1, so this will become b2. B2. And over here we have a summation junction, and at the output we have y of n. The output is a combination of the line of sight and indirect paths. The difference equation for this would simply be We are saying that if the input is delta of n, the output would simply convert to the impulse response h of n. So the impulse response h of n is simply, we can write these three in terms of our summation for a equal to 0 to 2 v k and x is converted to delta so this would be delta of n a so for this particular system so this is the impulse response and this is a finite impulse response so since this condition is not met, so we do not have an infinite impulse response, but rather a finite impulse response over here. 